what is going on YouTube. I'm going to show you how to modify this Phantom 4 parabolic dishes to fit onto this Femi controller right here. Femi X8 SE controller. Easy to do. All you do is you buy half inch diameter clear tubing, cut it to extend the antenna into the parabolic dishes. And voila, there you go. You can see how reflective it is. And that reflects the signal back into that antenna that allows you to have better FPV, better con flight controller signals, gives you better range, better video coming back to you. All right. As usual, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content, hit that subscribe button, guys, and support the channel and help me out. So let's jump into the video and see what you guys think. All right, guys, so these are the dishes that you purchased for the Phantom 4, and they're really nice. They have this special coating in here that reflects the signal back in, onto the antenna really nicely, right? And uh, so what we're going to do first is we have to, right here, is we're going to have to take these little pins off. And the easiest way to do that is just get either a, a finishing nail and just push them out. I just happen to have this little tool that I use how to, and I'll show you how I did it. And you guys could do it any any way you want, uh, but anyhow, it's pretty straightforward. You just push it right on down, like so. See it coming out? There you go. So that's the easiest way to do it. You just push it on out. Would be push the camera down a little bit here so you can see it better move the controller out of the way and you can just push it right on now so those are the pins you can just slide out right out see that one here, I'm going to push out some more. Okay, and then finish taking it out. And you can see, I got that one out pretty good right there. So now we have um, two separate halves, and the reason why we want to have two separate halves is that I want to show you that right here. The controller opens up, and so you can't have it hinged on there like you normally do with, uh, you know, the, the Phantom 4, because that controller is set distance, right? It doesn't fluctuate like this one does. So the other thing you're going to need to do is you're going to have to modify this gap right here to fit over this part of the antenna. And you can see that at... This is probably a better example of showing you how to modify that gap right there. You can see that. Um, so that's what you're going to have to do is just enlarge it because it's normally this width here. So you're going to have to enlarge it to this width. Okay. So once you get that enlarged, then they fit on here pretty well. But the problem you have is that it doesn't reach all the way up to the top, right? So it's not going to stay on there, you see? It's just going to flop around. So one of the things that we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do, and I've done this previously on Xeno, and um, we're just going to use the same concept to make this work, is you get, this is a half inch internal diameter tube, and I am just going to um, measure a two inch, so I'm going to cut it to two inches, and I'm show you how to do that. So this is the two inch bark here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there it is. And we're going to cut it with the special scissors made for cutting tubes. They've had them for a very long time, and uh, they show it too. They're, they're pretty worn out. It gives you a nice clean cut. And we're going to save the, the spare little piece that got cut off, but look at that. That's really nice and clean. So now we uh, cut that little spare piece in half. 
So we end up making two little grommets that we'll use later. So here uh, is time to measure uh, and see how well this parabolic dish tube is going to fit on here. So there it is. The upper part is going to fit into that slot up top. And that's the section that's sliding in the bottom. So let's take that off. And now what we got to do is just measure and see where we're going to uh, cut the sides in lengthwise and then uh, we're going to cut the tube in half so it's going to be a one inch um, cut that's going to go halfway into the tube so let's get that measured out here we go a little bit over half is what we're going to do but about an inch okay doesn't have to be exact but just try to be the same so there I am taking the exacto knife with an adjustable blade and uh, you can see I've gone halfway down into the diameter of the tube okay so now we're gonna cut the sides and uh, now, you know the blade was so flimsy here that I felt un unsafe with it so I brought it in smaller it works much better and um, so you can see I'm cutting the lengthwise here and then I am just going to take my thumb and finger and I'm going to break this little section off and it came out really nice and clean it really is nice and uh, very very nice the next step is to cut these little wedges out to make it into a kind of a point so it would slide into the parabolic dishes look how nice and clean that looks really is nice right so I wanted to show you the grommet and then I'm going to show you how the other piece came out when I used the scissors. Not so good, right? And the tubing was curved. I'm trying to straighten it out, but I don't think it's going to work. But I think the one on the right looks better. And so you slide the parabolic dish in first and then you put in the grommet. You know, and make sure you don't put it in all the way to the bottom give you a little slack and that's how the dish slides right in there now you can slide the grommet down let's do the same thing for the other side and slide the tab up through the top of the parabolic dish so there it is nice right Okay, so I'm going to put this wide-angle lens on the camera here so it'll give you a better view. And what I wanted to show you is how to control the dishes while you're flying with your thumb and index finger. So I'm going to spin it around and notice how I'm lifting it up with my index finger and pushing it down with my thumb. So it came out really nice. I really like it. What do you guys think? Let us know. Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. As usual, if you like this video, hit that like button or the thumbs up button. And if you like the content, as usual, hit that subscribe button, guys. Thanks for watching. Enjoy flying. Bye-bye.